Boom. <laughs> so this is the Vapsol BL4. I'm just going to do a quick summary and overview. So we've got these four slots for charging lithium iron and NIM cells, and they've got little notches on the positive and negative terminals, which are great for small cells or cells with recessed terminals. So they can take flat top, button top, and recessed top. So if I put this little small cell in, it's already detected it. So that in itself is awesome. A lot of the times with charges, it's really hard to, to put small cells in. You have to kind of balance them. This one you just shove in and it's detected it. So in pro mode, it starts at three amps. I'm gonna go down and select 50, 100. It goes up in small increments. So let's go to like 200, for example, or 250. And there we go. It's now charging. So oh, I just love this for small cells. You can chuck in bigger cells like 21700 and it's got lithium ion let's just do one amp charging <laughs> click that button for enter it's got a little return key there and let's chuck in an anti loop cell so here is an anti loop it's detected automatically so it's detected that it's a, a nim cell and yeah one amp is fine we could go a bit higher than that if we wanted to so 250, 500, 750, one amp. Actually, no, it's limited to one amp with these other cells. I think if I take these out, let's try it again. If we're not charging everything. Yeah, then we can do two amp charging with the NIM cells, which is pretty cool. So let's do a quick overview of the different modes. So in pro mode, we can change the battery type. It's detected NIM though. So let's change the mode. We've got our test. Storage, storage, that's the typo on the first batch. <laughs> Discharge and repair. So if it's like a really low voltage, like two volts for a, one of these 3.7 volt cells, you can get them up again using a small current. It won't work all the time. So like a damage cell, I'm pretty sure this damage cell won't, won't work. So yeah, this one's just completely damaged and that's just not gonna work because <laughs> it's broken. So if we go to lithium iron, we've got each mode, you've got charge, test, storage, discharge, and repair. So these are the four buttons, it's selecting your battery type. If you've got LifePo, which that is not a LifePo cell, but you could use LifePo. <laughs> and so yeah, you've got different battery types there. Either your lithium iron 1.5 volt cells you could use. There is a simple mode. If you don't want to mess around with battery, battery chemistries, you can just use simple mode. Although in pro mode, it still tries to detect as well. So that's simple. We do need to press the enter button to get it to start or it won't start doing anything. So <laughs> to press that return button. So that's a really quick introduction to the BL4. It's probably my favorite charger for these small cells. And yeah, it's great for different types of batteries. It has USB-C input. It's got USB-C output, which I'm, I'm probably never gonna use that, <laughs> but it's got USB-C input, which is great. And a nice big display showing you the voltage, the current and the capacity. It's also got the percentage of charge, which is relative to like whatever it is, 4.2 volts is the full. And you've got the internal resistance measurement there or watt hours, you've got milliamp hours and watt hours, if you prefer that version. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to see my full review, you can check out the description below. I've, um, I've got a like a blog with a whole bunch of different reviews and I've posted a comprehensive review of this one. It's just a written article though.